Hey, what's up guys? This is Ron from Standing Old Traditional Archery and welcome to the channel. So we got a lot to do this week. This week has been pretty busy. We're going to be introducing a brand new tab. It's called the Woodsman Tab. I'm going to demonstrate it in just a minute for you guys. Uh, it's pretty cool. Some pretty cool features uh, built into it. We're going to be doing some shooting. We're going to be testing out some of the new gear. We're going hunting. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to bypass deer this week. We're going to go straight to turkey because I really want to get a fall turkey. Uh, I'm going to be setting up a natural blind for deer, so uh, there's a pretty good spot that it'll probably be another video, but we're going to get back to it, and uh, we've got a lot to do, a lot to cover this week, so let's get going. Okay, this looks like a pretty damn good spot set up. Uh, where I'm at right now is actually called Kawartha Highlands National Park, or Provincial Park, sorry. Uh, this is in Ontario, Canada. Uh, what I'm going to be doing next year, and stay tuned for this, is uh, I'm going to be making a bow. I'm going to be making a takedown recurve. I'm going to be making it for the sole purpose of going moose hunting next year. That is the goal. I'm just going to say it out loud right now. That is happening. I'm harvesting a bull moose with a takedown recurve I made myself. So stay tuned for that. And on top of that, hopefully, uh, my good buddy dear friend best friend someone i've known for damn like 30 years almost uh is gonna be coming along for the ride <laughs> his dad is the one who inspired me to get into hunt or uh into uh shooting traditional and hunting actually and uh i'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek actually of what i'm doing right now this is a tab design that uh he actually sent me he had a tab like this for 25 years he said probably even longer uh but stay tuned for this this is just a prototype conceptual design but uh so far it's feeling good it's like a blend of a tab and a glove so uh stay tuned for the website for that because uh, i'll make announcements but this is uh we're gonna test it out here do some shots off camera but it's feeling pretty good so thanks pat you're the man definitely one of the perks of the job i'm not gonna lie place is awesome so I didn't really want to get too too much into this but uh, this is gonna be a new woodsman tab so the benefit of the tab is gonna be this front face here is gonna be made of uh, Timberland boot grade leather this is the actual leather they use for Timberland boots as you can see we got the mossy of bottomland uh, accent here which is great we got the moose leather on the back so this is already gonna be a super comfortable tab this is gonna be on par with our uh, bison leather tab so this is a bit thicker it's gonna be more for say draw weights of like 50 pounds plus if you have a draw weight of 50 pounds and over this is going to be ideal for that and obviously if you have like pain issues you could always use this if you are drawing something a little bit under 50 pounds and you just have issues with uh, finger pain so ah but the secret of this tab which makes this the woodsman tab this right here this little red piece right here on the tab that's a fire starter so this is just emergency rope emergency paracord built in so in a pinch you could pull this apart use that uh, wax thread it's just like a candle wick wax shred it up as a uh, a fire starter but i thought this was kind of a cool thing to have in a pinch if you really really need it obviously it's just a small amount but you never know a small amount it might be enough make the difference between uh, make it or break it and i've been in positions where I wish I had fire to make it because I was put in a bad spot with hypothermia or near to it. So stuff like this is just something I really, really enjoy personally. I just wanted to tie this into a tab just to give it that uh, a little bit more of an outdoorsman kind of vibe, a little bit more of a survivalist type of vibe. But all the while, it's just a functional, great shooting tab. So there you go, guys. That's the Woodsman tab coming out for on the website. I'll do more of a breakdown in this in the near future. Okay, I'm a little bit pressed for time. I got to get back to help my wife out for a minute, but uh, uh, speaking of tabs, staying with the topic, uh, time to go make some moose leather tabs. I'm going to show you guys kind of just a little bit of a breakdown of how we get those put together. Got a lot to do still, guys, so let's get going. All right, we're gonna get a head start on making some moose tabs right now. Uh, got a couple cut out, and we're gonna be using two different uh, thicknesses of moose leather and two different color tones. And I'll talk a little bit about actually uh, why the thickness matters. It's dependent on your draw weight, and right now, well, I might as well talk about it right now. So the moose leather tab is really ideal for people shooting 
lighter poundage bows, you know, up to maybe 45 pound draw weights, or if you like to feel the string a little bit more, because it's a touch thinner and it's a more supple leather, that means you're gonna feel the string a little bit more if you're pulling like hunting weights of 50 to 60 pounds. Uh, it's perfectly fine for that, it's gonna be great for that, but I'm just letting you know now, it's not really ideal for someone who has uh, finger pain issues. Now, this is great for bows that are under 45 pounds, and uh, you know, so we asked why we have a selection of different tab materials. Some are bison leather, some are moose leather, some are like our hunter tab of combinational leathers. And it's for that particular reason why we've done that to really cater to your particular taste as a shooter so that you're getting something that's just ideal for what you're after. If you're just target shooting, if you're hunting, it really doesn't matter what, but we designed these tabs for particular reasons and for particular tastes. So just the, that's the lowdown on the tabs. But as you can see here, I got a big pelt, uh, big moose leather, and this is this is like probably a quarter pelt. I mean, this is they're, they're huge animals, and uh, one of the things I really do love about the moose leather is that it really tells a story about their life on their skin. I mean, I have seen some scars on them because they're all scarred. All the wild moose leather, I mean, they're all wild moose caught. They're caught in the the Ranch and Mount Mountains of Canada, and. Uh, so they're all scarred up. I've never seen a moose pelt that does not have scars because they live a hard life. They're tough, rugged animals and they're crashing through thick timber. They're fighting off predators. I mean, they're fighting themselves. So I've seen some scars that were like a foot long and an inch wide, like easy. So some of the wounds that these animals in, get uh, inflicted on them are just massive. So like it really does say it in the, in the, in the leather i mean each tab is unique in itself and essentially it tells a little bit of the life of the animal on the tab itself i think that's what's so cool about the moose in particular is that it has that and you know it's a quality that although someone could look at this like as like a deficiency or something i kind of look at it as a part of the actual just the the uniqueness of the item it just tells a story like i said and i think that's just something i would never want to even replace that being said it's time to trace all the tab patterns out, we've got a lot to make, we've got to cut them out by hand. Until further notice, it's these scissors right here that has been making your tabs. So, let's get going. Okay, so I have all the tabs stitched up. They're all ready to roll. It is movie magic after all. It is officially the next day. I'm not uh, continuously doing this, but uh, let's open this up. Let's take a look at it. Okay, well, let's take a look at this. As I was saying before, this is made of two different uh, thicknesses of moose leather. We have a, uh, the bottom layer is a touch thicker than the top. Uh, the combination works really well. And uh, so I got a 45 pound bow here. Bear Grizzly with our uh, camo quiver locked and loaded. We're going to be shooting that in a second, but I'm probably stacking that realistically to 47 to 48 pounds with my uh, draw length. So let's uh, let's give this give this tab a shot, a couple shots, and uh, we'll see it in action. All right, there you go. Tested out the tab, works great. Gonna be taking it to uh, to a hunt. We're going turkey hunting right now. So let's get geared up, let's hit the road. All right, well, I'm gonna be running a decoy. I'm using a turkey call still, and I'm gonna try and see if I can fire up some of these hens and fire up, uh, fire up a tom if we can get them out. I've seen a lot of beards in the area, so. Let's see what we can do here.
Well, I've been in this spot for a bit. Uh, you know, I would probably have the disadvantage of the weather's changed quite a bit already. It was supposed to be sunny, now it's getting really cold, very windy, and probably gonna light snow at some point. So I think that's pushing the birds more into, deeper into the woods. The spot that I set up at is great. I think the disadvantage is that I'm still kind of waiting on a lot of these crops to be harvested to really get a better view of uh, where they're gonna be. Cause around this time, this is like eight o'clock in the morning, almost nine. Actually, sorry, this is nine o'clock as of this recording. Um, that spot would have been good. So we're gonna come back probably this week. It's the long haul, guys. I'm gonna probably flip back and forth between setting up a ground blind for deer and going back to that spot for birds. So that's the game plan. Anyways, thanks for joining me, guys. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. You're gonna come for the ride for everything. So we're making it happen one way or the other. Thanks a lot, guys, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.